I love the garden after the rain. Everything just starts to flourish. There's something about rain that just isn't the same thing as watering your garden. I'm going to collect duck eggs because I'm gonna incubate them. I want baby ducks. And we've had broody mamas in the past, but we haven't really had good success with keeping the babies alive, at least not last year. So I'm going to hatch these out myself and put them in a brooder because I want baby ducks. I know you guys really, really want a mama goat update and I'm gonna give you one. But I have a few things that I need to do first thing. Okay, got some chores done this morning, house chores. And okay, so these duck eggs, when you incubate your duck eggs or chicken eggs or whatever, you wanna be really clean. I have a hard time getting clean duck eggs. So I'm gonna just wipe them off the best that I can and we're gonna stick them in the incubator. Correction, I do not have a hard time keeping my duck eggs clean. My ducks have a hard time keeping their eggs clean. I give them nice, wonderful, clean hay and bedding and they still muck it up. That one's actually pretty good. I'm not using a wet cloth. I'm just using a dry paper towel to just kind of wipe off the dried hay and dirt. And I'm working over my bucket. That's why I'm way down here. Okay. That's a little better. Not perfect. So here we are. Here's the duck eggs. These are buff ducks. They're the same breed, but one lays green and one lays white. I don't know why. So I have my incubator. Oh, don't want to drop those. All right, I'm using a different incubator this time. I'm a little nervous because it's one of the cheaper brands and we haven't had the best success. But one of our viewers, we haven't had the best success with cheaper brand incubators. But one of our viewers um, sent this to us saying that she uses it and it always works great. So I'm gonna try it. If it doesn't work, we'll bust out the Brinzy. You guys are always asking us which incubator Grace uses. It's a Brinzy. So their incubators are amazing. Go check them out. I'll actually, I'll link the Brenzy that we usually use in the description below this video. I'm not gonna link this one yet because I don't know if it works good or not. This one, this one has automatic thermo thermometer, automatic turner. I don't think it has automatic um, humidity. So we're gonna have to watch the humidity. Excuse the screaming in the background. My kids are just playing. I'm about to take them outside to take the goats on a walk. And that will be our goat update. Okay, so I'm going to stick these in. I hope they all fit. Look, they do all fit. Oops. Okay. Here we go. I'm so nervous because I don't know this incubator. Chickens take 21 days to hatch. Most ducks take 28. Some ducks take 35, like Muscovoy. Ready? Are you guys excited to go see the goats and check on them? All right, I'm gonna let the goats out to forage for a bit and then um, we'll play for a bit. I'm gonna have to wear wilder because my stroller got poured on last night. If you've ever wondered why in most of the videos my hair is literally on top of my head, it's because my kid pulls it if I don't put it there. I can see that there's humidity in there, so. I'm not worried about it right now. <laughs> are they going to be half mine so these are my eggs? No. You're, I know you love the ergo. You know I can try You can get up now. We're out of the tunnel. Come on. Watch me come down here and then there would be like two little babies. Okay, so the other day, um, when Arthur thought that they were in labor, I actually did too. Just because of the sounds that they were making. The only other time I've seen them make those sounds was 
when they were in labor. But, <laughs> I also knew that like their body wasn't showing the signs um, of being like in labor. They're showing signs that they're getting ready to kid, but not that they're in labor, so. Hey, will you guys shut the barn door? Cause I'm gonna let the um, chickens out. Thanks. I actually leave my chickens and ducks put up in the morning so that they'll lay their eggs in the coop. All right, come on, be free. Be free, freedom. You may be wondering why keeping them in the barn and it's because they're getting close to kidding and I want to keep an eye on them. I'm also letting them out to forage for a couple hours every day. Usually like twice a day if I can. Hi, you guys ready to get out? And I mean obviously they get hay and water in the barn. Hi. Hi. <laughs> All right. All right, come on. Let's just check ligaments while we're at it. You've still got some good ligaments. Now her ligaments are like totally gone, just about. <laughs> We're not doing that right now, but thanks for letting me check your ligaments. Yeah, see she still has, she still has ligaments, but they're soft. Her ligaments are, well no, there they are. I still feel them, but they're really soft. And ligaments are the number one way that I feel like it's like the surefire way to know if your goat is like about to have babies. So that's why I was confused the other night because I knew their ligaments weren't soft. Anyways, here, hold on. Oh! Ow. Oh no! It's okay. They're just getting ahead of themselves. Uh-uh-uh, let me help you. Thank you. <laughs> oh, Braveheart. He at least his head goes to that sort of thing. Yep. Sorry, buddy. Not exactly that, but just like it. So I want to walk them up this road so that they're not here, but they're up the road. Come on, goats! Come on. There he goes after his lady. And if we usually grab. Flopsy, the others will come. Come on, goats! Goat! Can you say goat? Goat! Goat! Yeah. I'm gonna go check on the kids. I mean, they're just right there in the barn. I can hear them. But. What's really cool is that I have my goats trained to a bucket, so all I have to do when I'm ready for them to come back is shake the bucket, and they will come running. Also, what I've noticed with these walks is they'll go out for about an hour, 
and then they will come back to the barn and lay down and just chew the cud. You guys see them? They're up there in that logged area there. Wow, what are you guys doing? Your animals pretending your kids? No, kid mice. Kid mice. All of us. And here's my own bed. Oh, you're making beds out of paper towels? Yeah. Okay, the one thing I don't want you to play with is this scoop. No, okay, no. we just found it laying there. Yeah, and we'll pretend it's an ice cream. Because I was looking for this all morning. Yeah, we were pretending it was an ice cream. Did That's it? a lot of ice cream. That's why I only do this. Oh. This one's mine now. Well, watch this. Okay. Once again, watch this. Okay. Once again, watch this. Yeah, watch, Mom. You don't know Whoa, you're so fast. It's my kids' nap time. So I'm going to put the goats up. Hey, goats, here they come. I just need to shake that handle. Come on, hey. Come on, goats. Hey, ladies. Oh, Donald. And I give them the grain. It's not much. It won't hurt them. And like, I don't want to like tease them and then them stop coming, so. Anyway, here we go. Aw, do you guys like the grass Gracie got you? Grace gave them a whole thing of grass. Okay, so I'll actually take them out on another walk later this afternoon when all of our work and school and things are done. It has been a great day on the homestead. We will see you guys in the next video. Bye.